So how many times during COVID have you wished that you could upgrade your webcam experience for your Zoom calls, for your meetings, for your classes? Well, guess what? If you have a Sony camera and a Mac, finally today you can use them. So this is an RX105. I'm talking to you on an A7 III. Sony has released what's called the Imaging Edge webcam um, application, which turns your Sony camera into a webcam for free. No extra hardware needed, just a USB cable. I'm gonna walk you through how to set it up. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Chadwick. This is Creative Video Tips where I help you create videos that make a difference and stand out. If you're into making your videos a little bit better, or maybe your, your uh, streams, your webcams look a little bit better and you're into that sort of thing, click subscribe right now so you don't miss my next tip. Now we're going over here to the computer. I've got a website up for Sony Imaging Webcam and uh, the link is gonna be down in the description below. And what we're looking for is, you wanna make sure you're on Mac OS 10, 13 to 15. This is currently on Catalina, which is 15. And then down here below, you're gonna be choosing which cameras you have. Um, my understanding, they're just trying to track what cameras are, people are using. So we've got the ILCE 7M3, which is the A7 III. And then I've also got a this is the RX100 Mark V. So the RX100 Mark V is there, and then we are going to click Download for Mac. Okay, do I want to download it? Yes, I want to download it. And we'll see here, it is downloaded. All right, and I'm gonna open that sucker up. Checking volumes, finishing, easy enough. And this is probably gonna require a reboot at the end. So simple, welcome, continue, continue, agree, install, continue. And I'll double tap my watch because that's the new way to do it. And we will be restarting. I'll catch you in a second. Okay, now the computer has restarted. We're gonna be trying to hook up the RX100 Mark V. It says to turn it to the auto mode dial. So we've got that switched over to the green auto mode. I've got the USB cable. This is just an original micro USB cable. I'm gonna plug that in over here to my hub. And we'll stick the other end into the side of the camera. And now that that is connected, I see on the screen on my Mac, so the beloved Zoom that we've all been using. <laughs> so under settings, we're gonna go to video, and as soon as I launch the settings here for video, you can see we have the FaceTime HD camera that's built in, so that's just my iMac. I have GoPro set up as well. GoPro's had this for a few months already and now we have Sony so you can see my cables down there but this is <laughs> there's you there's the, the camera over there but now we have access to this great Sony camera for a webcam so this should work in any of the streaming devices the same ones that you would be using with GoPro or you just can't use it with the Mac ones you can't do it with FaceTime as, as far as I understand so this is what the Sony RX100 looks like. Cool. You can also switch this over to movie mode on the dial and then sort of dial in a, in a little more cinematic looking uh, webcam. So that could be set up over there on a tripod. And let's try out the Sony a7 III and see if that works just as good. <laughs> Sweet, so I just plugged in the Sony a7 III just using a USB cable, it's this long red one, and it appears to have just popped up on Zoom on here on my computer, so that's pretty much all there is to it. You got two settings to change in camera for the Sony a7 III. You go to USB settings and you make sure it's set to a PC remote, and then you also make sure that your control with smartphone feature, which is a Wi-Fi thing, that is turned off. So I'll show you where those are. It's network, wireless, control with smartphone, for smartphone turn off. And then the USB connection PC remote, that is in the menu 
setup area. So I'll probably cut to some B-roll right now with me scrolling through on those. The RX100 Mark V that I have down here, this one does not have the option for a control of smartphone. So all you have to do on this guy, it's real simple. You just do the uh, PC remote uh, option for the USB. That way the computer can control the camera. And um, the only other thing that I wish it did work, but apparently doesn't, is you can't do audio through the cameras. So the way I have this set up right now is I have an Audio Technica something AT2020 mic. It's plugged in with a USB uh, D to A converter or A to D converter, I guess it is. It's the Scarlet Solo. And so that's how you're hearing me right now. And then, um, but yeah, this should work in Zoom, which is what we're previewing here. It uh, also should work with, uh, you know, any of those other streaming tools like Google, YouTube, um, and it'll just make your whole experience a lot nicer for whoever's viewing on the other end. I hope it's helpful. If it is, please leave a comment below. Uh, maybe like it, subscribe it, and ask me any questions you have. I have a feeling there might be some install issues, and I would love to help figure those out for you. All right, now have fun with your new Sony camera or your reused Sony camera uh, as a webcam. Cheers.